Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to work on styling hair and we're going to do a pin curl set. Now pin curl sets are kind of difficult on hair that's been highly textured like my lovely model here. So I'm going to show you how to control all those little loose flyaways with Fuji paper. So let's get started. So now after I've applied a little bit of styling solution to help the hair stick together, I'm going to go through and I'm going to start to mold the shape that I'm trying to style. I don't have to do anything real perfect like I'm trying to do a, a hardcore finger wave. I just want something to get me some directional movement into it. So when I pick, take the pin curls, it has a more natural growth pattern at the scalp. Now from here, I'm just going to go through and start to take out a small piece of the beginning of my curl. I'm going to pull that out, not comb the root, but comb everything together and try to ribbon that together so it sticks together. Then I'm going to take a Fuji paper and put it in, kind of like I would do for a perm, but I'm going to double it over. And then from here, I'll start to form that in and get those ends in there. And then take my pin, put this in right on top of the paper. Make sure that everything is in there nice and smooth. And this will keep the ends from popping out so I don't end up with a consistent curl at the root and then the ends kind of popping out. So then I'll take a next little triangular section, get that hair combed out of the way. Now we can already see that little piece right there in the front being belligerent. So we'll show you how to ribbon that in, get that going. Form that together, start sculpting my shape in, pin right there on top of the paper, now we're just going to go through, take a little triangular piece, just try to pull some of that that's been already sculpted, pull that up, ribbon that into a point. Take my Fuji paper, put that in, fold it back on itself so it takes up a smaller footprint, pull that to the tip, and then start rolling my pin curl in. Now I want to make sure I leave the base of it natural. I'm not trying to pull that base shape completely out of it. Get that in there, there we go. Make sure everything's molded in there properly. I like to take a little triangular section. I think it blends and flows better than if I just take little squares. Pull that up. My Fuji paper in. Come here. There we go. Fold that on itself. Start to roll my ends. It keeps the ends together. So it's actually, uh-oh, where'd my clippy go? Okay, come here. I think the paper helps keep all the ends together so they don't fray out so much and it gives me a little bit firmer set on the very tips. I'm just gonna continue to work that over and into the side, kind of pin some of that out of the way. Comb this up and out, take my paper, fold it in, wrap that around. You can see which way that the ends are starting to want to go. So I'm just going to follow that natural movement on around like that. Now I've got these little delicate pin curl clips that I think do a pretty good job of keeping the base from getting too pinched. Now, after I've gone through and got my first row, I can either choose to start working around this way or work back and forth all the way around. It's really whichever flows better for you. This will also really help with those little small hairs that don't like to form with the rest of them that get kind of pokey, especially when the hair gets a little shorter. It'll help keep all of that in together. Roll that in, take my little pin curl. 
put that in. Boom, there we go. Now what I'm looking at is I'm making sure that the roots are all kind of flowing together as I'm putting my pin curls in. And as I work back, the paper really, really does a lot to keep all of that hair clamped in together so it can dry in one formed piece. Small little piece here in the front. Pull that up, ribbon together. Take my paper. Put that in, be as delicate as I can be. Okay, let me double that up. Roll that in and through my little clip. Right through, I want to keep that on the base. There we go. Oh, snap. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. There we go. Some of these are really textured. So instead of doing the paper widthwise, I'm doing it lengthwise so I can get more of the section covered by the paper so it goes in smoother. So on hair that's a little bit more stubborn and a little bit more resilient, I'm gonna go through, after I got the paper and I'm gonna spray it with a little water, wrap that around and then slowly use my paper as a form to help that curl get molded and set in and pinned in. So the paper will help keep it together and give, makes it easy for me to mold that in. Now we've got our finished set. We've gone through and pin curled everything. The paper really does help on sections that either aren't long enough to get the curl size that you want because it gives it a little bit more length so it's easier to pin. And also on hair that wants to fray out or doesn't want a ribbon together as notorious these mannequin heads are, they're very, very stiff, so it helped me mold it around that shape, and so it should be able to set in with a much stronger pattern and a much stronger curl. So let's go ahead and blow it dry. And also, if you haven't already, follow us on social at Jatai Feather. So I'm just gonna go through and polish everything off here, separate some of these curls, kind of pick it out a little bit. Um, please click the subscribe button and if you like what you see the notification bell so you can be notified of any future videos and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment of what you'd like to see in the future. Come here baby, get, get up. Okay, here's our finished result. I think it looks pretty nice. We got a, a good strong amount of curl into it and the Fuji papers really helped with that belligerent mannequin hair, help mold it and get a good little set at the base. So please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of really great information on there from hair cutting, for barbering, for long hair, for razor cutting, for scissor cutting. There's also an area where you can post your own work. So we'd love to see that. Please let us know what you'd like to see in the future and we will see you next time. Thank you so much.